health authorities are cautioning against an H1N1 overreaction. A concern about the virus is causing some people to panic. Now, companies are cashing in on some families' fear. Tonight, our Mary Garafello sorts through the fact, the fiction, and the fraud. <laughs> From sensational internet sites to fast-talking salesmen. I could destroy each one anyway. And over-the-counter homeopathic remedies. This works as fast as an injection. The fear of H1N1 is becoming a booming business and injecting big bucks into the pockets of many who stand to gain from the viral hysteria. Stacy, who asked us not to use her last name, is the creator of this unique paramilitary-looking website called the H1N1 Warrior. She gave us a sample of her many products. The H1N1 Warrior Delta Pack is important to have on you because, first of all, it's covert, so nobody will know if you're with your friends. They won't know that you have a flu kit on you. Within that pack, you have everything that you need. This is an NTV2 and 95 antimicrobial masks that Homeland Security is actually using. Stacy is not a doctor or a nurse or even a lab technician. She's a hairdresser from Las Vegas, Nevada. She says since the website went up six weeks ago, she's gotten over a million hits. But reaction to her website hasn't been all positive. We've gotten a lot of response that our verbiage, our lingo on the website is a little scary, even though we feel that it's the truth. Our goal is not to profit from it, it's to educate people that there are better products out there that can help save them. And meet one heck of a salesman, Robert LeBlanc. He is the Canadian distributor for an air purification system called Levoc. He had no idea his sales pitch was being captured by our undercover cameras. What is that blue, the blue light there? That's a UVA light. The UVA, what does that do? It's antibacterial and destroys all bacteria. But H1N1 isn't a bacteria, it's a virus. And his company claims the Levoc unit successfully destroys a strand of H1N1 virus. And he gave our producers literature explaining how this little white box placed over a vent in your house has been tested by the Public Health Agency of Canada. The literature goes on to say it successfully killed a Puerto Rico 8 strain of the virus. And if it mutates again, and None of these vaccines will be of any value. And each time it comes back, it's more deadly. The cost, he says, is $800 a unit. And this system, he claims, will protect you from the H1N1 virus and other deadly viruses. If it mutates again, you'll want 10 of these. Yep. He said 10 units for a whopping total of $8,000. And Mr. LeBlanc just kept talking jargon. I was a colonel in the military. I put my wife through medical school mm -hmm. and we we'll work on a project for NASA. We contacted the manufacturer of the Lavoc air purification system in Virginia to let them know about some of these sensational claims by this distributor. After promising to send us a statement, they did not, despite our repeated calls. We decided to catch up with Mr. LeBlanc for some answers. You tested a product in a laboratory under controlled circumstances. You never tested it in a house. The air just, it will constantly get all the air throughout the house over a period of time. Are you no. trying to make money from everyone's fear? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We want the research and I think you may have stopped it. And I think what you've done is very destructive. <laughs> Everybody wants it. Michelle Beauvert's product is the talk of the internet. It's called Influenzinium, and dozens of chat rooms are discussing her product as a means to combat the H1N1 virus. They say 59% of the population here does not want to get vaccinated, so they have to take something. She runs Homicon, one of Canada's largest homeopathic companies based in Montreal, and markets this cleverly packaged alternative to the flu shot. The packaging is similar to packaging used used by drug companies. The vials contain small pebble-like tablets that dissolve under the tongue. Influenzinum, that's the vaccine you'll see here in the back. It says 209-2010. So that's the vaccine for this year. It came out at the Pasteur Institute in Paris about a month ago. Beauvert says her company is monitored by Health Canada and all her products have drug identification numbers. 
have you had any research done on any of these products? Well, I don't think we need to make uh, research. It's the vaccine. They have all the research for the vaccine. I mean, we're just bringing it up in homeopathic dilution. What do you say to those people out there who say, this is medicine? 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, they would say, homeopathy is witchcraft. What have you got to say to that? We are considered a medicine. We're not a natural product. We're an official medicine here in Canada. You know what, there's wonderful entrepreneurs making a lot of money out of frightened people. Do I endorse it? No, I find it disgusting. Dr. Eleanor Fish is a senior scientist and professor of immunology at the University of Toronto. We had her examine some of these so-called H1N1 remedies. Okay, so this, what I read here is the active ingredient is prepared with the updated vaccine. And if it's prepared with the updated vaccine, the question is, well, why would you not just use the vaccine? So there is no part of you that might think that this homeopathic product might just be an alternative? Having chicken soup might help. What I'm saying is there are more effective, clinically proven treatments out there. We also logged on at a nearby computer to show Dr. Fish the H1N1 Warrior website. I think we call that BS. Don't you call that BS? <laughs> Dr. Fish also took a look at the research literature given to us by Robert LeBlanc. Now remember, he stressed it was the UV light that supposedly kills the flu virus. If it was as simple as putting a UV lamp, you just, on a sunny day, there are UV rays out there. Why wouldn't there be, why wouldn't we have killed the virus by now? Well, does it work? Do you think an air purifier will kill the H1N1 virus? Do I honestly think it's going to work? No. <laughs> In the meantime, Health Canada and the United States Food and Drug Administration have recently posted a list of companies and products making false claims about H1N1. The three companies we told you about are not on that website, but for a full list of companies, you can log on to our website at global16by9.com. And Dr. Fish says, use your logic when it comes to a lot of these products. We are undermined by this kind of media, internet hype. We have a vaccine. Every single Canadian can be vaccinated and protected against this infection.